Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Polly, and welcome to Podcast 3.3. Um, we're going to go over quantum numbers, and I want you to get a periodic table out now. For real, for real, for real, for real. So let's hop right into it. Quantum numbers. Quantum numbers are like coordinates for the Schrodinger equation. Remember, that tells us what the clouds look like in the quantum mechanical model. They also align with the periodic table. The numbers are N, L, M, and S, which have nothing to do with much of anything they are in there, but uh, all you need to know is what they are. N is the rho, except for D and F, where it is the coefficient of that electron configuration. So give the N for the following. So calcium. Calcium is number 20. So if I look at number 20, it is down 1, 2, 3, 4. It's on the fourth row. It's N is 4. Sulfur. Sulfur is number 16. And it is on row 1, 2, 3. Did you think sulfur was on row 2? Don't forget to count the helium row way up on top. Missourium. No, that's not missourium. It's molybdenum. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry. It's molybdenum. So I have to be quieter. They're taking a test next door. So molybdenum, which is number 42. Okay, sure. <laughs> okay. No. So I'm getting up and moving, everybody. So. Oh, no problem. So, mo is molybdenum, number 42, which is on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's on the fifth row, but but it's in the D block. So it's in the D block section. We bumped back to n equals 4. Iron. Iron's number 26, and it is on the 1, 2, 3, 4th row. And, but it's in the D block again, so that means it's going to be one, the numbers, D number is going to go down, so it's three. Europium is number 63. It's in the F block. So Europium, if you notice, would be in the sixth row. So if you look at row six, and then where that kind of kicks out, it's in that top part. So it's in the sixth row, but because it's in the F block, whoops, because it's in the F block, it gets bumped down too, so it is going to be four. Well, not four F, just four. L is the block. S is 0, P is 1, D is 2, F is 3, and it's that simple. So M is the orbital. For us, it's the column. It ranges from negative L, that's an L, not a 1, to positive L. I usually make the little cursive L. Um, give the L for the following. Carbon. So if I look at carbon, I'll draw the little... So if I look at this, I have boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon. Now, it's in the P block, right? And the P block is 1, right? So that means I count this off negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1. So give the L for the following. So carbon is right here. So carbon is 0. Nitrogen is 1. Bromine is down here in the fluorine one, right? And that's going to be zero again. And boron, which is right here, is going to be negative one. Okay? So you number those things going through the same thing. Vanadium, cobalt, and silver, same type of deal. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So vanadium is the third one. So do, 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 in the D block, right? So vanadium is number 23. Now, the D block is 2, so it's negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Notice how it fits beautifully from that negative L to positive L. So vanadium is right here, so vanadium is 0. Right? No. Negative 2, negative 1, yeah, it is. And then cobalt is number 27. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Negative 2, negative 1. So cobalt is negative 1. And silver is in this column, which is the 1 column. Okay. Then I have praseodymium, europium, and lutetium, 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 sorry. So if I had the F block, I would have 14 electrons, right? So that means if I were to label these, it would be negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And then praseodymium is number 61. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. 
um, at zero. Europium is one, two, three, four, five, six. If the six come over, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's praseodymium. Oh, that's europium. Pardon me, that's europium. And then lutetium is the last one all the way down here, so it would be three. S is the spin. Plus a half for up, minus a half for down. So you remember in your orbital diagrams, if you're adding electrons, say so I'm in my P block, it would be plus a half, plus a half, plus a half. First one in orbital um, we say is up, the second one in orbital we say is down, and don't forget Hun's rule where everybody gets one before anybody gets two. So let's do the whole chart. So potassium. Potassium is in row one, two, three, four. N is four. L is the block. It's in the S block, which is zero. Now M ranges from negative zero to positive zero, which is just zero. And potassium is the first one on there, right? It's the first one. So that would be plus one half. Its partner calcium, which is right here, notice it's almost exactly the same. N is four, because it's in the fourth row. P, I'm sorry, S block. M is always zero because they range from negative zero. This is negative one half because it's the second electron in that orbital. Rhodium I have to find because I don't know where rhodium is. Rhodium is number 45 in the periodic table, and it is in row one, two, three, four, five. It's in row five, but it's in the D block, so that means N is four. The D block is L equals two, and then for rhodium, I'm counting off by the columns: negative two, negative one, zero, one, two negative two, negative one. Rhodium is negative one. So again, if you count starting with the scandium column over to rhodium and you count from negative two up to positive two, you'll get it. So rhodium again is negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Negative two, negative one. That's the second time I said negative one. So it's negative one half. Tb, why do I pick these elements that I don't know where they are? Tb is terbium number 65. So it's in the F block. So it would be on the sixth row. But because in the F block, it's down two, so it's four. The L for the F block is three, and then count it off. So I'm going to terbium. So negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, negative three. So notice it's the second time I hit negative three. So if it's the second time I hit negative three, it's minus one half. Copper, number 29. I know where that one is. It is on the fourth row, but it's in the D block, so N is three. L is the D block, so it is 2. And M for copper, starting with scandium, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1. So it's in number 1. It's the second time I have a number 1, so it's negative 1 half. That looks like a third, so it's negative 1 half. Review N, L, M, and S are quantum numbers that refer to variables in the Schrodinger equation. The periodic table tells us how to find quantum numbers. And just do them. The more you do, the better you get. And the better you get, the happier you are even done with your podcast. And you can say, toodles.